The Batman is officially out, so here's some things I think you should know before seeing the movie. The movie is almost three hours long, about 2.56 including credits. Still enjoyable, just something to note in case you want to take a bathroom break before seeing the movie or decide how much you want to drink during it. I know there's been a lot of DC movies and TV series and universes, but this one as of right now is not connected to anything. It's a standalone Batman movie. You can watch this movie without seeing anything before it. Either there's talks about a Gotham PD series coming out after it as well as a Penguin spinoff and who knows what could happen after the Flash movie. The Batman is PG-13. I think most people know that, but I have seen some people be confused thinking it's rated R. No, it's PG-13. But it has a darker, moodier tone than maybe some other superhero movies you might have seen. You might enjoy this movie, but maybe not the same way you enjoy some Comment, let me know what you think of the movie. When your nerd friend solved the post-credit Riddler riddle, There's a final riddle hidden by the Riddler in the Batman credits. Here's how to solve it. When the Riddler says goodbye in the final second, there is a hidden message, rataalada.com. If you head to this site, you'll be presented with a series of questions. Answer all three correctly and you'll get a message from the Riddler. The answer to the first question is confusion. The answer to the second question is renewal. And the third, mask. Once you answer all three questions correctly, you'll be able to download a file called What Am I? which is encrypted. The password is promise. With this, you'll get a message from the Riddler and a hint to a possible future villain. Okay, so watching the Batman a second time, I can confidently say that I like it better than The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. I've come to that conclusion. I still love those other two films, don't get me wrong, but yeah, The, the Batman is a better film. It's a better film for me. Saw the Batman last night and couldn't. All right, let's talk about this. Which one is better, the Batman or the Dark Knight? And obviously no spoilers. I mean, the movie just came out. All right, let's start this off with who had the better performance. And I already thought this was tough. Christian Bale has always been my favorite Batman and I think his Bruce Wayne is underrated. However, you start to see the shortcomings in his Batman performance in comparison to Robert Pattinson's. Robert Pattinson, while in the suit, conveys a lot of depth in his character. Not only do you feel the weight of his depression and sadness, but he is also very intimidating when he's just standing there staring at people in the room. Slightly edges out Christian Bale here. Who had the better character arcs? Batman gets a great arc in the movie. Selena Kyle, kind of does, but at a cost. He gets a great arc for a two-hour movie, but this is a three-hour movie. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the Batman. Dark Knight completed these three arcs, plus Commissioner Gordon. The Dark Knight wins there. I'm not going to get into the villain discussion. We already know what it is. Next. Who had the better Gotham? I'm going to just say Dark Knight loses.